I recently needed some water that glowed in a pale blue color when exposed to ultraviolet light. So I got on the internet and did some searching and found out, fortunately, that simple, inexpensive tonic water, if it has real quinine in it, does just that. Let me turn out the lights and show you what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. Now I've set the color temperature of my camera to record the color as closely as possible, but in, uh, in person it's a slightly paler, more aqua color, uh, more cyan than the blue you're seeing here. But this is pretty close. It's also about what uh, the brightness is, so it's, it's glowing pretty good. As nice as this is though, I was curious to know if all tonic waters glow the same amount. So I got several different varieties and I thought I'd show you how they test out. These two are both Walmart house brands. Here's the regular tonic water, which has some sh sugar in it. This is the Diet, which is sugar-free. And this is a different brand altogether called Polar. Let's turn out the lights and see how they compare. Although it's a little bit more obvious to the camera than it is in person, it seems that the Polar is somewhat less fluorescent uh, than either of the Walmart house brands. And in fact, the uh, Walmart with um, the sugar in it seems to be a little brighter than the diet. Now, I assume this is because there are small variations in the amount of quinine, which is what is glowing in these. And uh, that's why this one is slightly brighter. Okay, so this is pretty neat, but uh, can we do any better than this? And that's where I got the idea of taking four bottles of the, uh, the brightest one, the Walmart with sugar, and boiling them down to uh, concentrate it by a factor of four. Let's take a look and see how that compares. And here they are. This is the unconcentrated, and this is the uh, Walmart brand with sugar that has been uh, boiled down to concentrate it by a factor of four. It's a little hard to see in the video, but in person this has a very slight yellowish tinge, probably from concentrating the chemicals in it. Let's turn the lights out one more time and see if this is any brighter. And this is a surprise. I had assumed that this one, which was concentrated by a factor of four, would have a higher concentration of the quinine in it, would therefore fluoresce brighter. It doesn't. It's notably dimmer. I assume what's happened is that either in the hours-long process of boiling it down, that the heat broke apart some of the quinine molecules and rendered them uh, unable to fluoresce, or that perhaps it reacted with the metal in the pan that I used to boil it in. Either way, boiling down quinine water or tonic water doesn't seem to be an effective way of making it glow brighter, which isn't a big deal because it glows pretty bright anyway. I hope you found this video about uh, tonic water and fluorescence interesting, and as always, thanks for watching.